Hey, it's Mike Swatsky with Unique Photo. We're here at the NAB show in Las Vegas, and we're at the Carl Zeiss booth with Rich Luning from Zeiss, and he's going to tell us about their new 70 to 200 CP2 lens. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good. Good. So this is a brand new lens in our uh, CP2 family. So it's a first uh, zoom and what will be three different zooms. This is a long zoom. We'll introduce a short zoom and a mid-range zoom in September. At least we'll start talking about the specs, probably shipping sometime next year. This particular lens will start shipping November. Okay. So what's unique about this lens in the cine world is that it's the only cine-style zoom lens that covers a full still format, 24 by 36. We're showing it here on a 5D Mark III. This lens covers uh, that full frame sensor without vignetting, has an aperture of T29, and like the rest of the CP2 family, the lens mounts are interchangeable, which means I can put it on a Canon, a Nikon D800, I can put it on a Sony F3, I can put it on a um, uh, Panasonic AF100, Micro Four Third mount, or I can put it on any PL camera, from Reds to Aries, doesn't matter. The nice thing about this, lots of versatility. It'll fit on any camera today and also into the future. It's an expensive lens if you're looking at it from a still photo perspective. In the cine world, it's actually the least expensive cine zoom lens on the market. It has a list price of 19900 okay. So for the cine world, it's actually affordable. For the still guys, though, they might have a heart attack. Yeah, of course. I mean, a lot of the guys doing DSLR video um, aren't, aren't used to a price like that. But, but you know, uh, after looking at some of the other products here, uh, yeah, that actually is a pretty, that's a really reasonable price for something like that. It is. You know, so there's, you can get a still photo zoom lens for like a 70 to 200 for 2,000, 2,500 bucks. And people are going to want to know, well, why should I spend the extra money for this particular lens? And there's, there's some key reasons. One of it is that this is a manual focus lens. You're not trying to take an autofocus lens and trying to focus manually. You have very little control. There's not a lot of focus rotation from short focus through infinity. So, and on these big sensor cameras that have very shallow depth of field, you need lots of focus control. So that's one big reason. The other reason is that um, you don't want to have any sort of shift in focus through the zoom range. A still photo zoom lens is not made for motion capture. So if I'm using it on a camera, live mode, and I'm trying to zoom in, I'm not gonna hold critical focus. So I'm focusing on the eye and I wanna kinda of draw in on zoom, my focus is gonna shift. A cine style zoom lens is not gonna happen. So the reason for that is that this has three independent zoom groups that move within the lens. So the mechanical workings of the lens is very complex, but that allows us to control the focus and make sure it doesn't shift through the zoom range. So when you start to look at those kind of features, the focus control, uh, the fact that the zoom, uh, your focus doesn't shift through the zoom range, and that it covers the full frame, it's 4K compatible, this is really, like the rest of our CP2 line, one of the most safest uh, investments you can make today. We know camera technology is changing quickly. You know, we've got lots of new gear coming onto the market. Um, you know, it's depreciating quickly. Uh, you know, the new model comes out every six to 12 months. Get a good set of lenses that's versatile, that'll work on cameras today into the future, and you're pretty well set. So you're saying it's uh, future-proof? As future-proof as you can get. All right, great. Rich, thanks a lot, I appreciate right, it. Thanks a lot. Great.